The goddess Kurukula, uh, spelled K-U-R-U-K-U-L-L-A, is very popular in art. And we say goddess, and we're referring now to a Buddhist context, but actually what we mean is we mean a female Buddha or an emanation in a female form from a Buddha. And in this case, uh, Kurukula typically has one face and four arms, red in color, holding a bow and arrow and holding a lasso and a hook. Um, now, Kurukula must be needs to be understood as uh, being represented in the uh, four classifications of Tantra, the Kriya, Charya, Yoga, and the highest uh, Yoga Tantra. But also, she is a category of deity, similar to Sri Devi and Mahakala, because she can be her own entity, depending on the literature, the Sanskrit literature that she is uh, coming out of, or she can be an emanation of Tara, and then she can also be an emanation of the deity Hevajra. So there can be many different forms of Kurukula, I think I've counted up to uh, 30, maybe 35 different forms. And uh, she can be white, she can be uh, typically red, but she can be white and there are some obscure uh, blue forms as well. Now, there, there's a lot of literature on Kurukula coming out of the Sanskrit and moving into the Himalayan regions, Tibet, Nepal. And uh, she has different functions and she has different levels of, uh, of uh, depth of teaching, of profundity. So, but we also have the, the late Indian Sanskrit texts, which are 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th century. But then we have also many Nyingma versions of Kurukula that have been uh, uh, originated as pure vision or originated as revealed treasure. So there's different types. Typically, she's in a standing posture, but she can also be seated. She can also be seated on a, on a corpse or on a four Indian, the principal uh, Indian uh, Hindu gods. So there's many different forms. Now, from the point of view of the lower tantras, then Kurukula functions primarily as a power deity. Power deity here means her metaphor for practice is power. And to go along with that, then we have the color red, which corresponds to tantric theory of colors relating to activities. So now for the main form that we typically find in art is the red one face of faced forearms and holding these uh, four attributes, which I mentioned. And these attributes are also made out of red utpala flowers, red utpala. Utpala just means a type of lotus, type of lotus blossom. And uh, now, there are some instances where Kurukula can also be uh, a consort to another deity. And these are, are generally found within the uh, uh, Nyingma, uh, revealed treasure traditions. So there's many different forms, but, but principally in, in art, we really do find the one face, four armed red, uh, in uh, standing dancing posture. This is the main uh, visual form we find.